it's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. Mom and I are back again with another Am I the Antagonist post, so let's hop right in. Am I the antagonist for expecting my date to cover the cleaning cost of a dress he ruined? <laughs> I, 27-year-old female, am in a bit of a dilemma and could really use some advice. I've been seeing this guy for a couple of months and we decided to go to a nice high-end restaurant for a date. Initially, I was going to wear a nice dark blue dress that I like to wear out, but he asked me to wear a different white dress that I had shown him once as it matched his outfit. Mm -hmm. I've never had a guy ask me this. Same. <laughs> the white dress in question was a gift from my late grandmother and was quite expensive. So I was reluctant but agreed and just asked that we didn't go anywhere after where I might spill something on it or otherwise mess it up. He mentioned clubbing after dinner, which is why I said that. I didn't want to risk messing the dress up. And he said we could just go to dinner and I could change out of it before doing anything else. Great. However, the evening took a turn for the worse when he accidentally spilled his red wine no. all over my dress. Oh. Mm. Just pausing for a second. That sounds intentional. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. But let's let's hear him out. Um, I'm sure he ex explained or something. He had gotten an unexpected call, and when he tried to quickly mute his ringer, his elbow hit the glass, and it spilled oh. all in the lap of my dress before I could react. Oh. It was completely drenched and stained. He was apologetic at the time, and I tried to be cool about it, but inside I was devastated, especially since I had mentioned specifically mm -hmm. how I wanted to be careful wearing it. Later, I mentioned to him that the dress was very expensive and asked if he'd be willing to help with the cost of cleaning or replacing it. To get it professionally cleaned and the stain removed would cost about $100, which I asked him to pay half of. That is very fair. Yeah. To my surprise, he got quite defensive. He argued that it was an accident and that I was being unreasonable for expecting him to pay for something like that and that it was my fault for wearing it out knowing that it could have happened. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a matter of principle. Yes, it was an accident, but the dress is ruined and it was extremely sentimental to me, not to mention a valuable dress. He thinks I'm being materialistic and making a big deal out of nothing. Now I'm not sure how to feel about his reaction. Am I the antagonist for expecting him to cover the cost? Before getting to whether he should be expected to cover the cost, um, I just wanted to address, she was saying, either the cost of cleaning or replacing it. You can't replace a, something of value from your grandmother. Uh, so that would even be in question. Mm -hmm. But yes, if he was any kind of decent person, he would offer to cover the entire cost of the cleaning. But that was very generous of her to share the cost. But yeah. for him to try to blame her for wearing the dress when he insisted, it does seem intentional. It seems like he set her up, ruined the dress, and she should block his number. <laughs> block him. There, you can't even salvage any type of like relationship with this guy. The hundred dollars to have the dress cleaned isn't. I thought it was going to be more expensive. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought it was going to be more expensive than that. So if he can afford an expensive dinner at a high-end restaurant, mm -hmm. so his. Let's calm down. <laughs> so his part of the cleaning fee would be $50. Yes. I'm pretty sure his dinner at the high-end restaurant would cost more than $50. So like that's just showing that he does not care right. at all. He's yeah. not taking responsibil right. re yeah, responsibility. <laughs> and he doesn't really feel sorry. Why am no. I so passionate about this woman's dress? Because yeah. <laughs> it's just sad that, you know, she went against her intuition, yeah. um, better intuition. And got wore the dress for him and he can't even meet her halfway on the cleaning oh that's terrible so i would definitely say um op is not the antagonist on this one i think mom is right and she mm -hmm. should just block this guy's number mm -hmm. because it's not a matter of the dress or the money it's a matter of him pushing her to go against what she wanted not mm -hmm. really taking no for an answer and then spilling something which like seems pretty deliberate yeah. and then not offering to make things right like, he should have been offering to pay the full 100 dollars right. cleaning right. fee and he doesn't even want to pay like half of that i would just right. pay it yourself girl and move on because 
if she can get the dress clean for a hundred dollars she should count it a bargain for a hundred dollars she got to find out his true personality and to find out he isn't even worth spending any more time or effort on very hey, true not the antagonist though no. all right if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.